In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to send a reminder email in Outlook. If you're using the newer version of Outlook, you might have noticed that the direct reminder feature is no longer available. But don't worry, today we'll be taking a step back in time and using the classic version of Outlook to get the job done. So if you're ready to dive into a blast from the past, let's get started. First things first, let's make sure you're in the Microsoft Outlook desktop application. This is where we'll be able to access the tools required for setting up our reminder email. Once you've confirmed that, head over to the top left corner of your screen. Here, you'll want to start by creating a new email. Think of it as crafting a regular email. You'll enter your recipient's address, your subject line, and of course, the body of your message. But wait, there's more to it when it comes to setting that all-important reminder. Direct your attention to the top ribbon in Outlook. This ribbon hosts an array of options and features, and among them, you'll find one labeled Follow Up. This is your gateway to adding that reminder. Click on Follow Up, and a menu of different options will appear. What you're specifically looking for is the Add Reminder option. Select this and you'll be presented with a dialog box that allows you to set the specifics of your reminder. This can be a helpful prompt not only for you as the sender, but also for the recipient. Now, let's talk about an alternative method. Perhaps you've received an email in your inbox and you'd like to set a reminder to follow up on it. This is equally easy to manage. Navigate to the message in question and right click on it. A menu will appear and just like before, you'll wanna find the follow up option. Simply hover over it and the add reminder option will be available to you. Click on it and just like that, you can set the parameters for your reminder. To ensure the reminder is useful, take your time to adjust the settings according to what's best for you and whoever's receiving it. You might set a date and time for when the reminder should pop up or even customize a sound alert. This feature is a great way to keep tabs on important emails and make sure you never miss a follow-up. And that's all there is to it. You've successfully learned how to send a reminder email using the classic Outlook. While this approach may seem a bit nostalgic, it's an effective way to keep your email communication organized and prompt. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you found this guide helpful. Happy emailing.